Is it light? Luminous. Is it absence of light? Fresco. Shadow. Is it painted? And trance. Or just a reflection? Aurora. These are some of the questions one has when seeing the artwork of Sidney Cash for the first time. Sometimes I have a sense of understanding it's, it, it has volume and the way it moves, the way it can be manipulated. And for the past eight years, Sidney has been working on manipulating light and shadow into an elaborate art form called light sculptures. He came upon it quite by accident. A moment that started with hat pins stuck in a wall. And I put a piece of mirror on there that was perpendicular to the wall and I could see the reflection and the shadow and it was like one of these aha moments. And by the end of the day, I had made out of different layers of mirror on these hat pins, I had a reflected light shadow, reflected light shadow, became the first sculpture. And from that moment, this 70-year-old artist has installed his creations locally and internationally. So something like this, first of all, explain how you come up with the design. This initially was three pieces this color and uh, they were right on top of each other so that there was something a little bit like this. It was like a rectangle. Somehow I just said, well, what if I move one of these off to the side a little bit? I got so much color and so many different areas of uh, pattern and color that it was very exciting. I feel like I'm an inventor of uh, ways to manipulate materials. An ex-Wall Street programmer, Sidney gravitated to the manipulation of materials since he was a young boy growing up in Chicago. I had a job with a, a, a great uncle. On Sundays, he would take me into, he had an atelier where they made uh, suitcases and trunks, and my job was to straighten bent nails. That was my first job. I was good at it. <laughs> I was worked on Wall Street for Chase Manhattan Bank and Operations Research, but I already had a shop in Greenwich Village that was happening, and uh, it wasn't happening enough then, so I got a job, and I had been a computer programmer earlier. He decided to leave his Wall Street job and the city life to pursue his passion in a more relaxed setting and found himself 70 miles upstate in the town of Marlborough. But this all happened because of an awakening he had while on a silent retreat where he was contemplating giving up his creative side. During the middle of the night, I'm alone in this meditation hall, and I hear a voice sh screaming at me, stop being an artist, stop being an artist. And there was nobody there. And that moment revealed a telling trait where Sidney realized he had been using his artistic flair as an excuse for being irresponsible. It actually was a very valuable perspective for me to uh, view my life through. And uh, I could see all over my life, there were things that could be cleaned up. And if I was more responsible, that was probably more important than being an artist. And so I changed my relationship with the world. And during that process, this work started happening, the work with the light. And I, in some ways, I think of it as a gift from that time. His work was recently on display as part of a nearby club called The Falcon and used as a backdrop to several acts that came to perform. That was fun because I was part of a scene. I can't say that I was ever part of a club scene like that before. Cash is currently on to a new artistic expression in the form of collages. For the last 15 years, I've been making these paintings on paper. I started getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning and coming out here. And when, when there's a lot of energy towards the work, uh, that's something that I regularly do. I'll be out here from three to five or so, and it's very quiet. The, the subconscious is very high, and the world is very low. Mm -hmm. And so stuff happens that couldn't happen during the day. So as long as there are materials, Sidney Cash will manipulate them in a way that is pleasing to the eye and revered as a unique artistic expression.